The Imitation of Christ, Book 3, Chapter 23, On Four Things That Bring Peace. The Voice of Christ, My Son, I will now teach you the way of peace and true freedom. The Disciple, Lord, instruct me, I pray, I am eager to learn. The voice of Christ, my son, resolve to do the will of others rather than your own. Matthew chapter 26 verse 39. Always choose to possess less rather than more. Matthew chapter 10 verse 10. Always take the lowest place and regard yourself as less than others. Luke chapter 14 verse 10 Desire and pray always that God's will may be perfectly fulfilled in you. Matthew chapter 6 verse 10 A man who observes these rules shall come to enjoy peace and tranquility of soul. Voice of the Disciple Lord, in these few words of yours lie the whole secret of perfection. If I could only faithfully observe them, no trouble could distress me. For whenever I am anxious and weary, I find that it is because I have strayed from your teaching. All things are in your power and you always long to bring souls to perfection. Give me your grace ever more richly, help me to keep your word, and advance my salvation. A prayer against evil thoughts. My Lord and God, do not abandon me. Remember my need for many evil thoughts and horrid fears trouble my mind, and terrify my soul. How shall I pass through them unhurt? How shall I break their power over me? You have said, I will go before you and will humble the proud upon the earth. Isaiah chapter 45 verse 2 I will open the gates of the prison and reveal to you the hidden treasures and secrets of the ages. Do, O Lord, as you have said, and let your coming put to flight all wicked thoughts. It is my hope and comfort that I can turn to you in all my troubles, put my trust in you, call upon you in my heart, and wait your comfort in patience. A prayer for mental light. O merciful Jesus, send the brightness of your light into my mind and banish all darkness from the sanctuary, from the sanctuary of my heart. Restrain my many wayward thoughts and destroy the temptations that beset me with such violence. Let your great strength be with me in the fight and overcome the seducing desires of the flesh that rage in me like evil beasts. By your power establish peace. Psalm 122 verse 7 And let your praises be sung in the temple of your pure heart. Command the winds and storm. Matthew chapter 8 verse 26 Subdue the fury of the seas and the blast of the north wind, and there shall be a great calm. Send out your light. Psalm 43 verse 3 And your truth to shine over the world. For until your light illuminates my soul, I am dull earth, formless and empty. Genesis chapter 1 verse 2 Pour forth your grace from above 
and bathe my heart in the dew of heaven. Supply fresh streams of devotion to water the face, the face of the earth. Genesis chapter 2 verse 6. And produce good and perfect fruit. Inspire my mind, now burdened by my sins, and fix my whole desire on heavenly things, so that having once tasted the sweetness of eternal joys, I may turn with this state from all the passing pleasures of this world. Release me and free my heart from all dependence on the passing consolation of wicked things, since none of these things can yield true satisfaction or appease my longings. Unite me to yourself by the unbreakable bounds of love. You alone can satisfy the soul that loves you, and without you the world is worthless.